good day everybody hope everybody's having a blessed and wonderful day today so far i'm blue queen and for those who know and for those who don't know blue stands for peace love and unity guys and that's what i'm all here for bringing spread my peace love and unity into the world and my overall mission is just for everybody to know god to believe in him and just take him for who he is and put him front and center of our lives guys and let's be a child of Let's be a child of God. Let's be a servant of Him. And today, I just want to say and talk about, do we actually fear God? Some of us know Him. Some of us believe in Him, but do we fear Him? And some of us know of Him, but don't believe and trust in Him. Some people are atheists. But my question for those who don't believe that there's God is always is do you want to take that chance do you actually want to take that risk and not believe in him and go to hell or do you want to take that chance and go to heaven god give us an option we gonna believe or we don't but do you want to take that chance and actually go to hell and versus going to heaven we always want to be on the safe side guys so don't take that chance just believe and trust in him because it's more benefit in believing and trusting him than to not believe guys so let's all believe and trust and fear him guys and i just want to be talking a little about revelation guys and i just want everybody who's watching this video to just take the time guys i know we all have busy schedule to just read the bible for ourselves guys get into your whole soul and get like bible study with your family let us all get to know god and trust and believe in him guys because the time is near these are the ending days guys god is showing us signs that he want to save his people he want us to surrender to him he want us to repent he want us to believe and trust and just worship him guys he is a jealous god and he's seen all the things that we are doing guys and he don't like it so he want us he given us a chance guys to get right with him only the living have an opportunity to get right with him the dead they already had their chance if they didn't get their chance to get right with them guys it is too late but we who are living guys who are have breath in our bodies we have the opportunity to get right with him guys only the living could do that so let's use this opportunity to get right with him to know him to trust and believe in him guys and so i want to start reading from revelation 9 verse 6 guys and it says i want us to fear him guys and it says in those days shall man seek death and shall not find it I shall desire to die and death shall flee from them guys so is there gonna be a time they're gonna be a time of torment guys and for those who are righteous God's gonna come for his people we're not gonna be here to experience this torment guys but in Revelation 9 verse 6 and saying that there's gonna become a time when it's gonna be torment God's gonna send his pledges into the world and torment the people that are not saved and so those people, they want, they're going to want to die. They're going to try to kill themselves. But death shall flee from them. They, they can't kill themselves. They have to sit there and be tormented, guys. So do, that's the question. Do you want to be that person that is going to experience the torment? Or do you want to get right with God? And when he comes, you're going to be the one to go with him, guys. We have to fear him, guys. Revelation 9 and verse 20. And the rest of men, which were not killed by the pledges, guys. So, by this pledge, pledge in the time of torment, for those who did not die, guys. Those who did not die by these pledges, yet repented not of their works, of their hands, guys. They still didn't repent. Even they survived that, the plague, they survived that torment, guys. They still did not repent. That they shall not worship the devils and the idols of gold and silver and brass and stone and and of wood which neither can see nor hear nor walk guys they still went on their living their daily life still drinking still committed sin guys they still did not repent after they survived the torment guys god is giving them a second chance he is giving us a second chance guys and we 
still didn't recognize and we still do not repent guys and this is so amazing this is so like unbelievable he gave us a second chance before our very eyes and we still didn't take heed we still went about sinning living our life guys this is so like and verse revelation verse 9 verse 21 and it says neither repented they of their murders guys people were still murdering nor of their sorceries nor of their fornication nor of their theft guys people were still sinning after they survived the pledges after god giving them a second chance they still repent not guys we still didn't take heed but do we actually we know of god we believe in him but do we fear him do we worship him in honor and true you know we sin is so like sin is like pleasure to us like we like sinning like having sex without marriage like that's good to us you know what i'm saying like um committing adultery um always like cursing teeth and murdering worshiping idols other gods like these things are are like pleasure to us but then we have our sign mind we know what is right from what is wrong guys like why are we still sinning guys and we know we all fall short by the glory of god guys like we all sin yes indeed but some of the sins we could avoid doing we could avoid making fun vacation adultery teeth and murdering we could avoid these sin guys so god sent jesus right jesus experienced everything that we are going through because he was an ordinary man he was just like me and you and god sent him so he experienced everything that we are going through he experienced temptation when he went into the wilderness and the devil tempted him guys he did not fall into the temptation he had he had word of the bible he had word of encouragement and he had words to fight off the devil from every temptation that the devil tried to throw at him so when we get in that spirit and when we feel like we are being tempted we have to know what to speak to, to the devil and we have to know how to what words to use to throw at him we have to pray for that spirit give let us pray that god give us that spirit to to within us to any time temptation come against us we will fall we will we will not fall into the trap of it guys okay so we have to know how to avoid not committing sins guys and guys like i said these are the ending days you see like how coronavirus is happening right now guys this is a plague the ending this is now guys we have to take heed we have to trust and believe and fear the lord guys please guys things are not going to get better from here now here and on things are only going to get worse and worse and tell the lord come and guys the lord is here he is coming now revelation 20 and 4 and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus and of the word of God, and which are not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received the mark upon their forehead or in their hand, guys. And they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. So, guys, we are living in the time now that we all know about the mark of the beast, 666, guys. We all know that. And so, the time is now that we are going to have to get the chip in our hands or the mark on the beast on our forehead guys so are you going to be that person to take the mark of the beast and go hell are you going to not take it and go to heaven because revelation 20 and 4 it says john said he saw the souls that were beheaded for the witness of christ of jesus that for those who don't take the mark of the beast guys we're going to be beheaded we're going to be murdered we're going to be killed so and we're going to suffer so are you going to be good and obey the Lord and not take the mark of the beast and go heaven? Or are you going to not want to suffer and be killed and take the mark of the beast and go to hell, guys? It's up to you. God give us a choice, guys. Everybody have a choice, but it's up to you and what you want to do. But all I want all of everybody to let's fear him. Don't take this mark of the beast because it's here, guys. It is here. The ending days is here. Revelation 18 and 3 and it says and talking about the city of Babylon guys the city of Babylon This is a city where people committing all Every sin and this is a city Guys for all nations have drink of her wine Of of the wrath of her fornications and with her and the merchants of the earth are wax rich 
through the abundance of her delicacies, guys. So, by the city of Babylon, this is a city of all types of sins, guys. This is just a city. Verse 19, and it says, Revelation 18, verse 19, it says, And they cast dust on their heads, and cried, and weeping, and wailing, saying, Alas, alas, the great city were and were made rich of all the ships in the sea by reason of her costliness and for in one hour she is made desolate guys so this city of babylon is a city where everything like everybody rich everybody living there and i'm saying jewelry living their best life fortification everything is in this city guys in one hour god is going to destroy that city they don't know what is going to hit them guys we have to be ready. We have to be prepared, guys. We have, we don't know when God is coming, guys. We don't know. We have to be ready. Matthew 25, in the 10 versions, when they, when they're going to um, the wedding, guys, and five were ready. They were wise. They had oil to carry on their journey. Five were foolish. They didn't prepare themselves and carry extra oil to carry out through their, their journey where they was going and when 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 they the lights where they was going when they when when, when their lights when all ten of their lights went out the five that were wise they they still had extra oil to refuel their light and the other five they it was in wise they were foolish they didn't have that extra oil to refuel their to refuel their light so they asked the other five that were wise to give them some of their oil but the five that were wise and say no i can't give you no oil because i'm not going to have enough for me to carry your me through to the i wrestle with the where i'm going so they said the five that were wise said go turn around and go go to the merchant that sell the oil and so the five went on their way and the other five that were foolish, they had to go turn around and buy the rest of the oil. So the five made it in. They made it into heaven. But the other five that didn't prepare themselves, they wasn't ready, guys. They wasn't ready. So when they finally went and knocked on the door, they were not ready. They could not get into heaven because the Bible says, we don't know the time. We don't know the hour, guys, that he is coming, that the Lord is coming. So we want to be prepared. Don't be like the five versions that were foolish. Be like the five that were ready. They were prepared. So when God came, they were ready. Don't be like the five that were not ready, guys. We have to be prepared. These are the end and days. Let's take heed, guys. This coronavirus people in the house making TikTok videos, doing everything in the book, guys. But we have to take time. Let's go in the Bible. Let's study. Let's study the Bible. Let's get right with God, guys. Please, let's get right with God. I know sinning is, you know what I'm saying? Sinning have is, you know, but guys, we have to fight that temptation. Jesus fight the temptation. Yes, we all going to sin, but we can't keep on committing the same sin. Every day, guys, committing the same sin. Going to God in prayer and asking God to forgive us for the same sin that we're committing every day. How do you expect the Lord to forgive us for the same exact sin that we keep on committing every day? You are foolish like you're, keep, you're thinking that God is a joke because if you keep on cursing or you keep on teething or you keep on murdering people every day of your life and then going to God at the end of the day in prayer, asking Him to forgive you for the same sin that you commit every day. He's not going to hear you because you're not serious. You're not, you don't want to be forgiven of that sin because you keep on doing the same sin over and over again, guys. Let's get right with God. Please, let's take heed and get right with him. Please, let's all make it into heaven. We all don't want to go in hell and get home. And it is already hot. I'm in the car and I don't have that condition on and I'm sweating and I'm hot. So that could tell you I don't want to go to hell. I don't want to experience no heat, guys. I'm trying to live my best life in heaven. Everything on earth is in heaven. Okay, guys? So everything that we might be fighting for, uh, we fighting over hosts, we fighting over car, we fighting over jewelry, we fighting over drugs. Guys, these things isn't going to matter anymore. 
these things are not gonna matter anymore guys these things are gonna be washed away so why fight and kill people over it only persons that are doing these things is that you don't fear God you don't fear God if you're doing these things guys let's get right with him let's be serious let's be serious guys you have the choice he give you an option but you're gonna do with that option you're gonna worship him or you're gonna worship the devil you can't you can't be lukewarm you can't be lukewarm either you with him or you against him you with the lord you're gonna serve him or you with the devil do you want to be tormented do you want to be tormented and that torment is no joke like i said in revelation 9 and 6 that torment is no good no joke we're gonna you're gonna want to kill yourself that's how serious it is but you can't kill yourself death is going to flee away from you that is going to flee away from you you cannot kill yourself you're gonna have to sit right there and be tormented be wise guys let's be wise just don't let's fall short by the glory of God and keep on committing sins. Let's trust and believe in him. And for those who don't believe in him, if you're watching this video, let's please get right with him. Now is the time. Now is the time he's given us a second chance. Are you going to take heed? Are you going to take that second chance and get right with him? That's the question. That's the question, guys. And I want to leave off this video with two prayers for the world. I have a Bible app. Um, the Bible app and the Bible app have prayer one and prayer two. This is the prayer for the world. So you can stop this video and write down this prayer though. But I'm going to be saying there's two prayers, and I love these prayers because this is the prayer for the world for this um, COVID 19 that is going around right now. This COVID 19 is a plague, guys. We have to see the signs, and this is a man made virus to kill our people we have to understand and fail god this is the ending this in the bible have to come to pass it have to come to pass so let's go prayer one dear god it's your name that is honored from generation to generation you alone are worthy of all glory and praise you are not shut by the state of the world right now your ways are our ways and you are not at loss about what to do. Nothing, nothing is impossible for you, God. Nothing is impossible for the Lord. Nothing. Pray, trust, and believe in Him, and your prayers will be answered. So today, we are proclaiming that you'll be glory, glorified through this pandemic. Let's give God all the glory and all the praise, guys, that your name will be known and praised throughout the earth. Purge the darkness with your light. Purge the darkness with your light, Father God. Shine brighter than the fear of death, academic ruin, and a long quarantine. When you look back on this moment in history, when we look back in this moment in history, would, would we be filled with joy as we remember the revival, the hope, and the peace that came out of this season continue to draw this hunting world back to you in jesus